Hey guys, today we're going to talk about counterfeit laptop batteries and ways you can tell the differences. So this is the original battery for my laptop. It used to last about four to five, sometimes more hours uh, if the laptop was sitting idling, not doing a whole lot of work. And after a year or two, it was down to about an hour, an hour and a half, so I knew it was time for replacement. When I look for replacement batteries, I usually go on eBay or Amazon, it's the first place to go. Because um, if you do buy them from Dell, they're about 120 to 150 bucks, sometimes more depending on the model of laptop you have. And you can usually get some pretty good deals on eBay. This is the battery I suspect is counterfeit. It only lasts about an hour to an hour, you know, I wouldn't even say an hour and a half, uh, about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, and then the laptop just shuts off. There's no indication of when it's getting low. The battery remaining indicator is totally inaccurate. And then this is the second replacement I ordered, also from eBay, and this one is just as good as the original. It lasts about four to five hours on a full charge. So before I dig into the differences of these batteries, uh, I want to go over a little bit about what happened with this counterfeit battery. If you don't want to hear this story, that's fine. Just skip ahead a minute or so in the video. So I ordered this battery on eBay. It was about 28 to 30 bucks. I can't remember the exact cost. Uh, it came pretty fast. It was shipped from the U.S. It was not like an overseas order or anything. And I put it in my laptop, and like I said, it only lasts just over an hour, and it shuts off, and that's rather irritating. So I sent the seller a message and said, hey, what's up with this battery? What can we do about this? And he said, oh, just cycle it a few times. It usually improves. So I cycled it a few times, and there was no improvement. So I thought, okay, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to return it. I opened a return quest. Item is defective, I think it was, which forces the seller to provide you with a return shipping label. He provided me with a return shipping label to a warehouse in California. Perfectly fine, so I packed it up and dropped it in the mail. So a few weeks go by, and it was around Christmas, and I had completely forgotten about this by then. So I looked at the return tracking number, because there was still no refund, and it said, Held at post office at customer request. And I'm thinking, well this is ridiculous, because now eBay is going to think I didn't return it, because the tracking number doesn't say delivered. So then I went back to, to send the seller a message and see what was going on. And it says, the listing has been removed. If there's any problems, contact customer service. So then I looked at his eBay account and his eBay account was removed. Not only was it removed, it said the account was based in China. So I called up eBay and they did give me the refund. They had no problem with it. So I suspect his account was probably removed for selling counterfeit batteries. So here we are a month later and he never did claim his return that was being held at the post office. So it got returned to sender, which was returned back to me. So that's how I have this battery in my possession now. So first I wanted to go over a few of the factors that lead me to suspect this battery is counterfeit. So if you look at these batteries, uh, keeping in mind that this is the counterfeit one, they look almost identical. I mean, I guess the printing, like especially if you look at these square logos, the printing on the two genuine batteries is darker than the counterfeit battery. You can see the all the printing in general is lighter. But all the printing is in the same location, you know, cells from Korea, made in China, the same logos, the same capacity, 8.55 amp hours, 11.1 volts, the same UL listing, everything is exactly the same on this battery. But if you hold them up sideways, side by side, but the one thing that's missing on the counterfeit battery is the sticker that shows the manufacture date and the serial number. Every Dell battery has these stickers on with the serial number and the manufacturing information. Unless, of course, it, it fell off or the customer removed it. It also doesn't have the secondary sticker over here. I'm not quite sure what that sticker is for. It looks like it's also supposed to be a date stamped sticker. The manufacture date is actually included in this label. So you can see the one I'm replacing was manufactured in August of 2018. And the new genuine one I got was manufactured in November of April of 2019. The counterfeit one has nothing. So the next thing that leads me to suspect these are counterfeit is the weight. The counterfeit one just feels a little bit more plastic and just doesn't feel right. So here's the original one. It is 475 grams. Here's the other genuine replacement. It is 469 grams. And here's the fake. 456 grams. Now that's not a big difference, but there definitely is a noticeable difference in weight. So that leads me to the fun part of this video. We're going to pop this open and see what kind of cells are inside. Genuine Dell batteries always use brand name cells, whether it be Samsung, LG, or Sanyo. Those are the three most popular I've seen. Genuine Dell batteries do not use off-market uh, Chinese cells, SZN cells, or just unbranded cells. And those are the kind of cells I'm expecting to find in this battery. See that? There we go. These are DSD batteries, INR18650, 
2000 milliamp hours. So this is a 3S3P battery. That means three cells in parallel and then wired in series. And you can see where this link was here to connect this third set for the parallel connection. These are not genuine cells, but you know, 2000 milliamp hours times three cells is six amp hours. And this battery is supposed to be 8.55 amp hours. This is just trash. So yeah, if you go to order a replacement battery, the price seems too good to be true. And there is no serial number or other tracking information on the battery. It is probably fake, and you should probably return it and get your money back. Now when you hear people talking about fake batteries, that's not to say that the battery is not a battery. This is technically a battery, it stores electricity. By using the term fake, we're not saying that, you know, this is a rock or something like that. We're saying that it's counterfeit. There are plenty of generic replacement batteries that have these kind of cells in that work perfectly fine. The problem is that this battery is being sold as a Dell genuine battery. The Dell logo up here, this is trademark infringement. If this would have just been blank or just had some aftermarket brand name, uh, because it's not claiming to be a genuine Dell battery at that point. So yeah, that's about the end of my complaint here. Um, I'm glad I got my money back and definitely be on the lookout for these aftermarket counterfeit batteries. Anyway, I'm sorry this video came off as a long complaint ramble. If you found it interesting, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you for your time watching, and I'll see you on the next one.